Good morning. It's Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm. We're over on the south side at UAB at football and, and uh, other operations departments. I got my buddy Jay Anderson here with the Boozer Blazer, Blazer Boosters Club. And uh, good morning, Jay. Good Welcome. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're going to be talking about UAB athletics and about their football department and the, the exciting things that are going on on the south side. Jay, if you would, introduce yourself to the folks and tell them a little bit about what you do around here. My name is Jay Anderson, and I'm uh, the Director of Annual Giving here with UAB Athletics. And uh, our job here uh, at Blazer Boosters is to truly just support our athletic uh, programs financially and helping to raise funds um, for scholarships, for capital projects, for um, capital campaigns, and different uh, facility projects that we have going on. So. Uh, a lot of exciting times here at UAB, and uh, we've been quite busy, which is always a good thing. I'm sure. We're, we're going to talk about this a couple of times, but tell the folks how they can get in touch with you, make donations to the annual fund, purchase tickets for any of the UAB sports. Let's give it to them the first time now. Absolutely. Uh, you can reach us here at Blazer Boosters at blazerboosters.com, or uh, you could always give us a call at 205-996. 9969 again 205 996 9969. If you are interested in tickets, you can call the ticket office directly at uh, 975 UAB1 or that's 975 UAB1. Okay, and obviously, we're 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 back. Our UAB is back after a couple year hiatus with its football program, and it's I know there's a buzz around campus going on. Tell us a little bit about what you've yeah, been seeing. Absolutely. I mean, everyone is truly excited uh, that the football team will be touching the field again uh, for the first time since 2014. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a long time coming. It's been quite the process, but uh, everyone is engaged. The team is ready to go. Coach is chomping at the bit to get the team out there. Our fans um, are showing up in record numbers. Uh, we've sold over 10,000 season tickets uh, for the upcoming season, which kicks off on Saturday. So uh, there is a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Uh, I just passed our students uh, who are securing their tailgate spots for the season. Now uh, we're expecting them to sell out. So it's, it's just a lot of energy, a lot of buzz. Campus is really hopping right now. Well, that, that's awesome. That's, that's great news. I know there's been a lot of press and publicity of late. And, and I saw on AL.com earlier this week all the – the photos that the uh, the public's been allowed to see of the new Absolutely. facilities. What can you share with us? Tell us about that. So the facility itself is a gorgeous facility. Uh, it ranks as uh, one of the best, if not the tops, in Conference USA. Mm -hmm. It's a 46,000 square feet facility, which uh, has a locker room for the guys, player lounge, uh, complete uh, offices for all of our coaches and staff. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, their training room in there, as well as a, a full-scale weight room with top of the line uh, weight equipment um, from digital uh, programming to, mm -hmm. to various things. I mean, it's just an awesome facility that uh, coach is going to be able to recruit to, that our, our, our players love uh, because they get a chance to call a great place home uh, for their time here at UAB. So it's uh, really awesome. Uh, we've had a chance to uh, give some facility tours and different things. Uh, so if you drive down 6th Avenue and you see the, the new facility, mm -hmm. uh, definitely uh, stop by, take some pictures because it is definitely a, a sight to see. But better than the facility, is the pavilion that's right mm -hmm. next to it. It's it's a covered pavilion where our team uh, can take shelter when it's raining, thundering and lightning. They can still keep practices going. Uh, there's two full-size fields out there that are field turf. So, like I said, top of the line, state of the art, um, definitely positioning us to, to make some noise in conference. Well, I, I saw it on my walk in today, and it's a very <laughs> impressive facility. Awesome. I, I know if I had to do it over again, I'd consider <laughs> <laughs> seeing Absolutely. what I've seen. Um, Let's talk about the, the upcoming season a little bit. I know we got the, the opening game for the Blazers is this Saturday. This Saturday. Tell us a little um, bit about it. Uh, UAB will be taking on Alabama A&M at Legion Field this mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh, kick time is at 2.30. Um, it's Like I said, it's been a long time coming. There's a lot of excitement about it. Uh, Legion Field is, is dressed and ready to go. Uh, they call it the old gray lady, but mm -hmm. it probably looks as good as it ever has. Um, as we prepare uh, to kick off on Saturday. Uh, A&M's coming down. Uh, they have a, a, a solid program, a solid team, and they enjoy playing the Blazers. So Coach uh, is going to have the guys ready. Um, uh, gates will open uh, for, our, for those who are tailgating at, at 830. Um, mm -hmm. regular, uh, regular parking will open uh, two hours after that, so looking at about 1030. Mm -hmm. And then gates to the stadium will open an hour and a half prior to, to kick time. So okay. uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement out there. Definitely make sure you are there for, for the first game in the return. Well, what prior to kickoff at 230, was anything planned in the, the, 
the exterior around the stadium? Absolutely. Uh, we've enlisted uh, the help of Bruno Event Team uh, to help us with our game day atmosphere and just game day process, game day processes. So if you go to uh, BlazersGameDay.com, that's BlazerGameDay.com, uh, you'll be able to take advantage of all of the um, information that's being put out about game day, about uh, parking, about uh, proper routes to get to the stadium so you don't get stuck in traffic. So from driveway to driveway, uh, we have a new process set up so that it is a more enjoyable experience for you. Um, we've uh, had tailgate uh, spots available throughout the course of the summer. Uh, we are sold out, which is great news in tailgating, so there's going to be a better tailgating atmosphere than there has in the past. Uh, we have Blazer Village is going to be wide open on the west side of the stadium, so there's going to be things to do for kids and families and, and just Blazer fans in general. Uh, our students are going to have a great presence with their tailgate area, and so we just invite you to come on down to the stadium, um, enjoy the game, but more so enjoy the experience, which is going to be the new experience here at UAB Football. That all sounds very exciting. Our law firm is one of the newest uh, season ticket holders, and we Absolutely. look forward to catching some of the games this yeah, year. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome, I would tell you. Just new energy uh, surrounding Legion mm -hmm. Field and UAB football, and so we invite you again to come down and, and just experience the energy. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when you come once, you're going to want to come again and again because uh, it's just, it's just going to have that vibe for you. Let, let's talk a little bit. I think there's six home games this year. Who are some of the opponents coming up? Six home games. We kicked, as I said, we kicked the season off with Alabama A and M. Uh, we follow that up uh, with a home game against Coastal Carolina in, in week three. And Coastal's got a, a fairly new program to Division One, but uh, they they are definitely putting a, a solid team together. Um, and then when we get into October, we play probably two of our toughest opponents, uh, Louisiana Tech on mm -hmm. October 7th, which is actually homecoming. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, Middle Tennessee on October the 14th, and that's actually going to be our Hall of Fame weekend. So that's going oh, yeah. to be a great weekend uh, to come out and watch some football and see five Blazer greats uh, from five different programs uh, in UAB get inducted into the Hall of Fame, um, highlighted by, uh, by Jerome Mincy from basketball mm -hmm. and uh, Roddy White from our football program. Um, and so, so it's going to be a great weekend there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also have uh, UTSA coming to uh, mm -hmm. Legion Field later on in November uh, and Rice as well. So uh, great schedule, solid, solid schedule. We're really looking forward to it, but uh, we're definitely looking for our fans to come out and mm -hmm. show up and uh, make this one of the hardest places uh, for Conference <laughs> USA to come and play. And I know the Blazers go on the road at least to San Antonio and some other cities around the southeast. Absolutely. Or the yeah. south. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. San Antonio is on the schedule mm -hmm. as, as a road game. Uh, we travel up to Ball State mm -hmm. in Week 2, who is a traditionally uh, solid program there in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, but uh, our road schedule is definitely highlighted by our trip to Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. We're headed to the Swamp, mm -hmm. uh, so we know there's going to be a lot of Blazers out there. And so if you're in the, if you're in, uh, the Jacksonville area or you're in Florida, hey, take that trip over to the Swamp and, and support the Blazers. We definitely uh, could use you. Is there an anti-jorts? campaign going up. Sorry, Florida fans, I had to. I hope that the Blazer fans stay out of the jorts as part of their ensemble. Well, I will tell you, uh, come as you are. Um, if it's jorts, if it's jeans, whatever it is, we want you to be there. Just, Just show make up. sure you're in green and gold. That's right. Just show up in the green and gold. Well, Jason, let's step away from the exciting times that are going on in the, the, the on the field. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit more about the Blazer Boosters and what you do for okay. the annual fund. Tell us a little Absolutely. bit about that. Absolutely. Uh, my role here in the annual fund is uh, to uh, create uh, to create some great programs and initiatives to help support our student athletes uh, and the scholarship program. All donations that come in uh, to the annual fund go directly to student athlete scholarships, um, and so you are directly affecting the future uh, mm -hmm. of our of our young people. Um, we have uh, some great opportunities to provide benefits for, for the donations that do come in. Some are connected to tickets and others are connected to other opportunities for access with our teams and our programs. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, um, as I said, the, the importance of, of what we do is making sure that uh, we have uh, opportunities for our student athletes to come in, get a great education, and be able to perform on the field. And so uh, if, if you are interested in, in giving, uh, we have opportunities for you to do so online mm -hmm. at blazerboosters.com. Uh, you can give us a call here in the office at any time. Myself and, and five other full-time staffers are always available to answer questions, uh, to make sure that uh, whatever program you're interested in, in supporting, uh, you have opportunity to do that. 
Um, and we can be reached uh, by phone at 205-996-9969. And then, uh, again, uh, you can always uh, catch us at uh, uabsports.com, which is the main athletic page. There's a, there's a give uh, donation button there. So uh, we try to make it as easy as possible for you. But, uh, like I said, the big key is making sure that we support our student athletes because they do sure, a great job. Sure. Uh, we all know that uh, basketball and football are the big headline-grabbing sports. Mm -hmm. What other sports here are, are benefiting uh, from the bo Blazer Boosters? Okay. I'll tell you, we have uh, 17, actually 18 programs mm -hmm. uh, that we sponsor here at UAB. So besides basketball and football, uh, we have our men's and women's so soccer programs. Uh, we have our men's and women's golf programs, baseball, softball, uh, women's track and field, um, cross country and then as well as men's and women's rifle mm -hmm. um, and so uh, volleyball uh, can't forget volleyball mm -hmm. and uh, one of our newer sports uh, is beach volleyball which oh, uh, really actually um, wow. beach volleyball uh, we have a great program here mm -hmm. um, because of beach volleyball we we have the opportunity to host uh, mm -hmm. some NCAA championships uh, coming in the future oh, so very good um, there's a lot of good things happening with all of our programs. There's a lot of uh, great student athletes coming through in a lot of different areas. Um, and so you have 18 opportunities, 18 mm -hmm. programs that you can support here at UAB. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know you've watched some of the football practices. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you played back in the day, <laughs> as did I. And I got to have an honest assessment. Do you think you could still lace it up and, and get out there and knock some heads? Uh, I, can, I can give you one good play. I, I can give you one good play. After that, uh, I don't know how, how much farther I could go. I think but, that's uh, all Coach Clark needs, just one more play. And, and I got one year of eligibility left, so, Coach, I can give you one if you need it. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jason, thank you for hanging out with us for a few minutes. This is Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm with my buddy Jay Anderson with Blazer Boosters. And, Jay, again, let's tell them how to get in touch with you for tickets annual giving and however whatever they want to be involved with the sports absolutely, programs absolutely we'll start with tickets first as uh, game day is coming up in just a few short day, few short days mm -hmm. so if you haven't gotten your season tickets single game tickets they're all still available mm -hmm. uh, 975 UAB1 again 975 UAB1 that'll get you directly with our ticket office mm -hmm. and they'll be able to help you out from a donation standpoint you can reach out to us at Blazer Boosters uh, at blazerboosters.com or you can give us a call at 205-996-9969. And as always, you can always go to uabsports.com, which is our main uh, athletics page, and uh, you can purchase your tickets, you can do your donations, everything online, and get some great news about the Blazers. That's some great information, Jay. Thanks again. Hey, thank you so much for having me. All right. Uh, we'll be back next, next Tuesday. Uh, let me see who we've got on. I think Martin Weinberg with the uh, transit department here in Birmingham is going to talk about some of the new things going on in Birmingham with the transportation issues and maybe a few other things that are in, in the works. Thank you again for hanging out with us for a few minutes and we'll see you next Tuesday. We hope you have a great rest.